So, hello, my name is Vito Negele and I have the website www.grandomblay.at and I just want to tell you something about practice on the Adabakis. So, the main thing is uh, if you have some notes and or if you look in videos for YouTube and you see how they play with sticks and you have to practice the, the hands like it's have, it, it have to be played so because of the sound and the technique it's not uh, it's it's the, the, the players were <laughs> and the, the, the traditional players they are thinking about how to play this and to get the typical rhythms so if you play a, a rhythm like uh, for Hussain, uh, you have to take care on the hand, like so you see I play da 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 like with my right hand and this is the the, the powerful hand in this case so because there is a special uh, agogo bell rhythm. So, if you practice, first of all, you have to take this one. I think it's most important to learn the bell rhythm first. Because if you play at a back hits, the most rhythms are together with the bell rhythm. So, you have to do it. And good is in the beginning if you do it very slow, maybe you could count and and uh, you take a stick like a, a smaller one, like this for example, or other ones, then you play it. And I take the agogo. In some cases they have uh, uh, because here you could do it like that, but don't do it in in the candomblé. You don't do it normally, but I think the sound is good, so I take this. And if you if you practice, you have to start slow. And play slow, maybe 10 minutes. And I have some watch, and, and I always practice, for example, 10 minutes, one rhythm. And the next day you do it again, because you have to learn it and if you play only one minute or two minutes it's not good practice. I have done it for a long time and my teacher Tududuchi uh, he was telling me and always studying and teaching me uh, to do this for a longer time and in the beginning it was very very hard but if you do it for a longer time then you will uh, get it in, into your brain and the aim is to not think well, what do I have to do but if I say play I'm shy you have to play it like it's then it's in my repertoire I don't have to think what was this what was this or oh, Yemen Shah so I don't have to think a lot and because I've practiced it, so it's not it's not the thing which is here inside. You have to practice. And to my mind, and I think everybody is saying this is practice with a metronome. You could download on your handy one. I will write down the link on the bottom and take some. Uh, I don't know the English word, take something in your ears and you practice and, and then do it really maybe 100 uh, times or 200 times or maybe in some metronomes which I have you could do write down 10 minutes playing this beat and if you are common in the slow tempo, then increase the tempo. Because in ritual situation, maybe you don't never play in ritual situation, but if you play 
they play it maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour because they are dancing and the ceremonies will go on and on and they have the same rhythm but different songs so you have to play it normally for a longer time and also the effect of practicing a long time the same thing is much more better than short time yeah I play this also first then uh, if you know the rhythm here then you could learn this and the last step is here because here you have to to learn the, the different solos the most time not, not always the, the solos are, are traditional and first you have to learn the traditional uh, solos then then you could uh, play afterwards they could play more free but in traditional situation in the ceremonies they have some parts in every rhythm so if you if you're going to learn the traditional ceremony styles uh, which is the first thing you have to learn uh, it's also in different terreros they play the rhythms different most time they play here the same rhythms so or you know okay this is Aguere or this is Ishesha but here it depends on the player which is playing if, it, if he is a good player or not and in some terreros they play here different parts and I have also seen videos of terreros they play I don't know which parts they play but if you're going for example to do Tucci to learn it in Germany, in Berlin. He is teaching, to my mind, very serious and very good and he will teach the rhythms with different parts which are clearly uh, separated. I don't know the... but you play a part like this, then the next part, then the next part, then you come again. And, but you have to learn it as long as if it's in your uh, brain so you start first of all with this and yeah if you start this then go to this and then the last step is here and, and also um, possibility is to start singing so I was practicing it with bell and singing I was practicing with at the back as a lay in rumpi sing and also here so if I play or if I play in, uh, for for uh, for the public then I have one guy here one guy here one guy here and I'm here and if this guy who is playing a gogo -go, most time he couldn't sing so I have to sing so I have to practice this and singing. It's hard but it's possible. So this is really really uh, a, a wide field of, of playing drums and if you practice candomblé rhythms it's also good for any other style. So one one thing is you also have to play Shakespeare and in some rhythms like Ishesha you have to play Shekhare and also Ara like Abamunya as I know it they play also Shekhare and okay if you if you play in public and you are not four people or five so maybe you are two people then it's better not to play the gogo -go and this it's better only play one drum and this so this because here if you play it the most time you play also similar like like the gogo -go. and if you if you stay together on the stage with one who is playing this beat and one who is soloing and for example singing both it's enough it's not the best but it's the best way of doing that 
if you have two persons, if you have three or four, then play it. And I think if you are three people, then it's better to play only this and not the Google. Because here is more power. And yeah. Okay. That's what I could tell you about practice. Do it. Try it. And in the beginning, it's very hard to learn the kind of play rhythms. And but it's really worth to learn it also for playing drum set or congas and other styles of music. So what I could tell you what I'm doing and if you look to my videos of playing these instruments and learning it uh, I always use a uh, loop station and I, I use it. That's an older one, it's from Boss uh, LC50. But now you maybe you could buy some used things, but the newer ones are built on another way. But I use it for practicing, and here you, you must have a microphone and a, a B, BA. <laughs> To get the sound, and and uh, yeah, the advantage of this product uh, is that if you make small mistakes in uh, in recording, the first, for example, Coco Bell, uh, he he will uh, know which beat you have, and he will uh, correct it a little bit. So I use it also, but I have used in, in, in a life situation and it's very hard to, to, to play the Google Bell without a, a mistake but with this it's much more better so he's correcting a little bit and helps you yeah and also a big advantage is if you practice uh, you could play every part inside and practice this for example, the, the, the um, rhythms. So I do it, and yeah, and you could make it in different tempos and every advantage of playing together. But it's not like playing together. But it's very helpful to practice. It's with loop station. <laughs>